Make your own ammunition and fight with the government. Yes, because the power comes to that. Because the power that these men have, you know, have options, and we don't have the resources to fight them. So that what what you're actually saying right now is there is hopelessness for our people. But look, we're out here to tell you that look, there's another hope. There's a hope, and the hope is that we need a deliverer, we need a savior, and that's what is going to get us out of the situation we're in right now. Only thing, you are the only thing. We are well educated, the scientists and. Develop, we can't develop do that. So you, well, I'm going to ask you a logical yeah, question. Well I'm going to ask you a logical question. Logically, see, if you bound a man and you bring him to your home and you have him as a, uh, as a slave, see, and you had bound him, see, and him started to use your resources in your home to overthrow you. Who you allow that? I'm going to use your money, your weapon, to overthrow you. Who do you allow that? You can't stop it. Eh? You, can't stop it. you can't stop a man where you're bound and put in your house and you have power over him. You can't stop him from using your resources to overthrow you. Look here. Are you saying? This man that have all the bullets and the guns, we make the bullets, we make the guns, we make the food now, give it, because so we're totally depending on him. Can't stop with from use his money and his resources to overthrow him. That you're saying to me? Where you get his money from? If you never give him never make it off his money, we own the office. And now we make it. <laughs> See, so therefore. Seeing that this man can't come with this way, you're not thinking smart enough to see what we are doing? Well, of course, everybody can see. No, uh, if you see it as a threat, then all right, all right. So, if you see it as a threat, then you're not thinking smart enough to set things in place to quell that threat. Yeah, well, everything's going to make a threat after you. Oh, you yourself. So, so, you yourself so and what you're control. saying is useless. If you try, what you're saying, he's going to come and he's going to destroy. It makes no sense. He's going to destroy. But if we do it, but if we do it, he will destroy us anyway. You take it. So the, ultimately, we need a savior. And without a savior, we are doomed. That's it. We can't rise up in the man's house to take him down. That doesn't make no sense. Ah, give me the strong man, brother. This is what the scripture says. It's just like the just like the Chinese. We're gonna read. Look, 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 look around Jamaica now. We can't stop the Chinese. We cannot stop the Chinese. Because we don't have a military to stop the Chinese. The Chinese are one of the biggest military for the face of the earth. They think the Jamaican, they think, hold on, they think the Jamaican. Prime Minister or the Jamaican people can't tell China say no. Hey, if a man stick you up with a gun and you can't defend yourself, I think you can't tell him say no. The Chinese are coming in and all you can't, the shops, you can't. have all these shops around here. We don't, don't have, have, don't have any choice. We don't, we don't have any choice. We are the black man that have shops here. We don't have any choice. We need all the because they have the power of the sword. They have the power of the sword. Who gives them authority? The government. Can the government not have the choice, Nida? Oh, yeah. Give me the strong man who first bought the strong man, brother. The government have choice. The government don't have any choice. Because you have many leaders in the. Hey, you know history? A lot of leaders die resisting the, the status quo. From beginning. From See? Beginning. So if them try, go ahead. If the government, if the government resists, what happened to them? All right. And, and anybody come up and do the same again, I'll, I'll get killed. So therefore, there's no hope in, in trying. If I don't have a weapon to fight, there's no hope in trying. Look, there's no other hope apart, apart from we being delivered, man. No other hope. That's it. Give me that, give me that, Mr. Brother. 11 verse 21. Right. 
When a strong man arm keep it is polished. You see when a strong man arm keep it is polished. The so-called white man is a strong man right now. And you have a Chinese who also strong. See it, go on. His goods are in peace. Right, so when you're strong, that's how you maintain and keep your goods. Because if a man come upon you with a gun, and you don't have the means to defend yourself, whatsoever him asks you for, he may go take it from you. That's what poor stuff. All nations acquire what they have through wars and conquests. No one get true peace. Only a Negro will get subjugated, think that they can get things through peace, man. man. You weak. The so-called white man make you become weak That's facts, man. and pathetic, man. That's facts. You weak. <laughs> you know what I mean? No nation on the planet of dealing with them up to peace, man. The white man today is still fighting for everything on the earth, man, with the military. Everything him take by force, man. And a nigga feel like you gonna sit down and get it. I'm gonna school and get it. You are gonna white man school and get things. You make a sad mistake, man. Niggas become weak, man. Your ancestors tenfold stronger than you, man. Actually, let try to fight. Actually, let try to fight, man. And niggas taking shit lying down now, man. That's what you're doing, man. See, go on, go on, brother. Read please, Mark. So. Mark 3, verse 27. Right. No man can enter in a strong man's house. No man can enter in a strong man's house. What? And spoil his goods. And spoil his goods. Except he first bind the strong first man. First, you have to bind the strong man. What is the strong man? The so called white man, man. Everything where you get that email, get it from. Everything where you get that email, get it from. <laughs> you can't take him down unless you bone him. <laughs> Niggas, bro. Hey, let's not be racist, man. We are well, yes, let's not be racist. He might get all the riches. He might take all the riches. Over 400 years of slavery, a nigga have come out now and come and talk about let's not be racist. When a white man re be been racist all his life. All of a sudden, when I take everything we have, all of a sudden now, nobody knows for the racist because he have everything already. So now I'm going to protect him goods, so therefore I'm going to tell us that you may be soft, peace. that him don't lose him goods when we rob and steal the generations, man. That's what's going on. Niggas become soft, man. That's what I'm here. Go on, brother. Except he first bind the strong man. First, he bind the strong man. And then he will look, find his house. Look, man. You see, everybody will talk about the agriculture, <coughs> do this and do that and do that. You don't know nothing about history and what this man been doing throughout history. In the first place, see, in the same thing, is an example to show you say, oh, you cannot have self sufficiency under the so called white man. You have to go according to field policy, man. The same thing you are showing you just that, man. Because anything you try to do, you must tear it down. Anything you try to do, you tear it down because you have to depend upon him. You know what I mean? Saddam Hussein got put to death because he was going to try to trade in Europe instead of the US dollar. On the false pretense, man. Yeah? Gaddafi got put to death because of the dinar. Many South American leaders get put to death. You have a white man sending military in a Panama, kill much in people in a Panama, man. No much of our people die trying to build the Panama Canal. How much people left from, from the Caribbean, Jamaica, and all about? I built Panama Canal with low safety re regulation and get put to death over there, man. More than invade Panama, you know what I mean, and kill watching people. He more than invade Grenada. And you know what I'm talking about, yo, look. We have 
you can do some, some for yourself. No, you can't do none this for yourself. Right now, your government has signed papers where they don't even know what they are signed. Um, because guess what? The, the Chinese have one of the biggest military on the face of the planet. So you can't look for them and tell them no. And if you look for them and tell them no, you have to tell them next man yes. Okay, if I tell the Chinese no, you have to tell the Americans yes. And if I tell the Chinese yes, you have to tell the Americans no. Because they are my enemy. And if you have a bigger enemy in your back, you have Cuba do it no, because Russia they are back them. See? So I think you don't know what the hell is going on for the planet, man. You don't know what the hell is going on, man. You get subjugated, you get beaten down, you become trapped down, you become weak. You know the worst of situation, and you are crying peace all over the planet. Who are going to listen to you? Who are going to listen to you? You're crying now, ain't that ears of nobody? Everybody is from their own nation. The Chinese from their own nation, man. Them now the listen to your cry. Them now have no, them now are obligated for love you. Who is you? Who is you? Feel like you, can, you can see what I say, Chinese and the Indians, them all for themselves. Them all for them, them not even mix among you, man. They not even mix. Hey, anybody who, everybody who, look. We not, the nation of my love will like how our people are trying to love the nation, man. And guess what? Your love is hypocrisy. Your love for all the other nations is hypocrisy. You know why we know that? Because your brother, what the monks you, you not show them that love them like how you show the other nation. They speak out against a wicked ass nigger out here. And the thing with them are doing, saying I have niggers to support that. But talk about the nations them and the wickedness with them are doing. And everybody who are coming defense to the other nation them. But you are never defending your, 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 your army fella, men. Right. You rather kill them. We kill with more, more of our own people, more than how we kill any other nation. Right. How much white man we kill in Jamaica? Since the year start. How much? Yeah. How much Chinese we kill? So like you're not saying to go we are hypocrites, man. You are not saying to go kill them, but we show you how hypocritical our people are. <laughs> we kill Jamaicans more than any so called Jamaicans more than anybody else. You know what I mean? Hypocrisy, man. Hypocrisy. The people that are actually are destroying we will not pay attention to them. Because the very fact that the brothers killing each other is because of the result of what them do. The other nations, them. See? This is the result of a people that is broken, man. Slavery. Is what was used to break our people, and because that, that because because of that, that's why our people doing what they're doing now, right now, man. That's why they're doing what they're doing. Don't want a nigga come up here and tell about no love, man. Don't tell about no love because you don't love your one another. So I'm gonna tell about no love, no other nation, and all nation are one. Don't tell me that because you're hypocrite to tell me that. You know what I mean? Come on, brother. Uh, this is Isaiah 42 and 22, sir. Right. But this is a people rob and spoil. This is a people rob and spoil. See? You don't even know what, ne what race you be. You have people out there calling themselves the black race. There's no race called black, man. Black is, black, black is a, a, a the most negative thing for the planet. You, bring, you put a negative vibration for yourself, man. There's nobody on the earth of black. Nobody. The different shades of brown. It's a derogatory term when you call yourself black. Do you know that the word nigger and black are the same word? The same word. Just go in, go in the dictionary and look. Look up the word black and see what the word black mean, man. Men out there calling themselves black. Black nation. What the hell? The only race of people will lose them identity. See? We are the only race of people on the planet will lose our identity. We're scattered throughout, throughout the whole world in, in, this, in, this, in this, this big slave trade where the so-called white man do. Call myself African-American. Call myself Jamaican. Jamaican basically. Call yourself. A matter of fact, the word race. 
The road race comes from the Latin Rasa, which means seed or lineage. So now ask a man, in nationality, which basically go back to race. A man I tell say, I'm a Jamaican. Which word Jamaican mean land of what? Wood and water. Wood and water. So your race and your, or your lineage and your genealogy is land of wood and water. <laughs> what more loss you want to find a set of people? What more loss? You know what I mean? Go on, brother, read it, read it again. But this is a people rob and spoil. This is a people rob and spoil, man. Go on. They are all of them sneers in us, and right. they are in, in prison houses. Right. They we, are, we are always captives. See? We are always captives, man. See? The Lord put it in a state here because our weakness here. See? And with hypocrisy. As we, as we speak about my brother, look away, we don't love my brother. See? Because all the commandments in the Bible basically was showing you how to love your brother. Nothing more. Oh, if you live, live peaceable with all men. That's all the com commandments was there for men. Gone. 